Hi there, I'm here to tell you about the HESI A2 exam and a study guide that I would suggest that you try using for it. Um, the HESI A2 can also be called the Evolve Reach exam. Most commonly it's called the HESI A2 entrance exam and your college or university can kind of decide which test or which components they're going to require and how long you'll have to take each test. Um, typically there's reading, comprehension, vocabulary, and general knowledge, basic math skills, grammar, biology, chemistry, and anatomy and physiology. So you'll need to check with your university or college to figure out what you really need to study and what they're going to include on their test, how long you'll have to take it, and uh, what the scoring's like and what they're expecting you to make so that you know um, when you take practice tests, that's another key. You'll need to make sure that your study guide, which this one does, um, this one's put out by my metrics test prep, and it has a study guide in it. And so um, I'm sorry, it has a practice test in it. Of course, it's a study guide. Um, so one thing, whenever you're going through this study guide, it's really helpful to take notes, highlight, mark it up. I mean, it's yours, so do what you want to with it. Um, if you're getting the ebook version, um, there's one handy uh, key that I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but as you go through it, go through it multiple times and get the study guide and be prepared to go through it two or three times before taking the test. Um, it's pretty fast paced. There's no fluff. It's um, really just what you really need to know so that you don't waste time studying. And since it has a practice practice test, once you're pretty familiar with the material, you can take the practice test and then you can go back and say, okay, I did really well in math, so I don't need to worry about math anymore. I need to focus on grammar if you didn't do well on grammar. So then it kind of helps you benchmark yourself and see what you need to be making versus what you actually made and how much more or how much more you need to study a certain section or how many more questions you need to get right so that you can pass each portion. Um, so at the beginning of this study guide, it has um, the top 20 test taking tips um, and you know when you're studying and you're nervous you kind of forget even the most basic stuff so just about getting a good night's sleep and things like that so that's really handy um, and then there's an exam overview so it kind of talks about um, the different components that make up the test and then what I was talking about for the ebook, if you get the ebook version, there are these, uh, this is backwards to you, but there's a website with a code on it. So say you're studying for the English language portion or the reading comprehension portion, and one of the first important skills is to know what a topic sentence is or a main idea. And so if you read this paragraph that's in the study guide and you're like, I still don't get this. I really need to have a visual representation or I need to just watch a video, listen to someone else explain it aside from me reading out of the study guide. You can click if you have the ebook or if you have the physical study guide, you just go to mometrics.com slash academy and then you'll type in in the top right hand corner on the website it has um, enter the six digit code here and so you just type the six digit code and then it takes you directly to a video of someone explaining that topic. So instead of you having do a bunch of research and do all the legwork yourself. It's already all connected and so um, I, that's just a great feature of the study guide. So you can go through each section. Um, the English language has you know the reading comprehension, grammar, things like that and so it goes through all this information. Um, like I said it's very concise though so it's in bite-sized chunks so you're not sitting down to read a whole chapter about the topic sentence and main idea. It's just one paragraph. Um, and then there's just different ones about um, different things that you'll need to know for that portion of the test. And then you can go through and do biology, math, etc., etc. And so um, it's all in bite sized pieces, like I said. And then once you've finished going through all that, or however you want to break up your studying, um, it also has just testing ideas, like how you can be a better test taker and how you can develop those critical thinking skills or um, the process of elimination. There really is a skill to it. And so that might kind of sound like an elementary thing that you learned a long time ago, but I think that it's really important for you to really understand actual test taking tips and actual test taking strategies and understand that they work and um, try to put those to practice on your practice test first so that you can get more familiar with them. Um, and then continuing on in the study guide, there's a, a full-blown practice test. And so once you find out that your university is going to require 
all seven sections or just five sections, you'll know what portions you need to go through. And so then you could take the practice test um, and you'll probably want to do it with the time that your university or college will allow because if you only are going to have 55 minutes to do something, you kind of don't want to practice taking it for three hours. You, nobody really wants to do that anyway. So practice taking it in the times that your university will allow and what they require so that you can really simulate the testing environment, get in a quiet place, use headphones or um, earphones, I mean, sorry, earbuds or earplugs just so that it's not too loud and you can just practice taking the test by yourself, no looking up anything, and you can really see what you're doing well on and what you need to work on more. Um, and then after you take the practice test, you'll be able to go through at the back and it has these full explanations of why A was correct versus B was not correct. Because a lot of times these questions, the answers are all correct, but there's one that's the best answer or that's the most correct. And so it's not a matter of just skimming through and saying, oh, that's correct, that's correct. It's what's most correct in this situation. So um, rather than just kind of going back over your practice test and saying, oh, well, I got number one wrong, um, you can actually see why you got it wrong and why the correct answer is correct in a full explanation, like a paragraph. So that's really helpful. Um, and then also the study guide includes some, um, let's see, back at the back, the very, very back of it, there's um, just general strategies of how to, like when you get a question to figure out what's actually valid information, what do you really need to know, um, and to kind of be able to just weed through all the fluff that's in a question and be able to get to the core question so you can figure out what they're really asking you for. So um, Mometrics.com or Mometrics test prep will help you. Also while you're going through these study guides, a huge help is making flashcards. So if you just keep a stack of index cards and so when you're going through the study guide um, or you're listening to one of the videos, watching one of the videos and you see something and you're like, I don't understand that completely, jot it down. And then do some further research and write that on the back of the flashcard so that as you're studying and as you go through things, you can go back through those study guide, um, through those flashcards until you really understand them super well. Um, so that's about it and hope that was helpful to you all as you prepare to take your HESI A2 and I hope that you can use the study guide and that it's helpful to you.